Pillowcases are one of my favorite items to make. Not only are they beginner friendly, but they also make great gifts. Stay tuned if you guys wanna learn how to make this easy, no pattern pillowcase. For this project, you're gonna need one and a half yards of fabric. I'm choosing satin because satin pillowcases are great for your hair. When I'm making pillowcases, I like to cut my fabric in half widthwise. This makes the fabric easier to control when I'm cutting it to size. In this video, I'm gonna be making a standard pillowcase. Standard pillowcases are 26 by 20 inches. I'm gonna be adding an envelope to this pillowcase as well as sewing with French seams. So we're gonna add an inch and a half to each of those measurements. We're gonna cut one piece at 27 and a half inches by 21 and a half inches and another piece at 33 and a half inches by 21 and a half inches. Now that our pieces are cut out, it's time to hem the opening of the pillowcase. You're gonna take the short side of each of your fabric pieces and you're gonna fold it over a quarter of an inch. You're gonna iron that flat and then you're gonna fold it over another quarter of an inch to create a hem. We're only doing this to one side of each of those pieces. This is what your hem should look like. All those raw edges should be enclosed. Next, we're gonna take it to our sewing machine and we're gonna top stitch the very top of that. Now you're gonna lay that smaller piece of fabric wrong side up and you're gonna take that longer piece of fabric, lay it on top of it wrong side down. I know this feels weird, but since we're doing a French seam, we're gonna sew on the right side of the fabric first. Now we're gonna take the excess fabric that's on that longer side and we're gonna fold it under. When you fold it under, you're gonna make sure it aligns with the length of that shorter fabric. This is what's gonna make that envelope that prevents your pillow from falling out of the pillowcase. Next, we're gonna take it over to our sewing machine and we're gonna sew at a 1 4th seam allowance, making sure to leave that top part open. Once you're done sewing, you should see the beginning of the pillowcase. You can see one side that's hem, and if you look inside, you'll be able to see the envelope. You can also see the raw edges. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna trim very close to our stitch line, but make sure not to cut into our stitch line. This is what's gonna help us with our French seam. After we're done trimming, we're gonna turn our pillowcase inside out, take it over to our ironing board, and we're gonna iron those seams flat. This is gonna help our stitches later. Ironing is optional, but as you can see here, it really does make a difference. You can see that seam line is nice and flat. Now that we're done ironing, we're gonna take it over to our sewing machine, and we're gonna sew at a half an inch seam allowance around the outer perimeter. I like to backstitch at the end of the envelope. This is gonna reinforce that stitch, especially because we're gonna be pulling our pillow in and out of that pillowcase, and you don't wanna break that stitch. And then after that, you're gonna take your pillowcase and you're gonna turn it right side out. And then that's our final step. If you wanna do an extra step though, you can take it over to your ironing board and you can iron those seams flat as well. And then once you open it up, you can see the French seams. The purpose of the French seam is to fully enclose those raw edges. That way, as you're using your pillowcase, it'll last for years and it looks very professional. The purpose of that envelope in the pillowcase is to prevent the pillow from falling out of the pillowcase. So all you have to do is insert your pillow like regular and then you're gonna reach inside, grab that envelope and you're gonna pull it around the top of that pillowcase. And as you can see here, I'm bouncing the pillowcase up and down and that pillow is not going anywhere. Christmas is right around the corner guys, so a pillowcase will be the perfect gift for someone. Not only are these pillowcases super easy to make, but they also look so professional guys. Look at it up close, it looked like it's store bought. If you guys choose to recreate these pillowcases, I would love to see it. Tag me on TikTok and Instagram, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, bye!